हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ लेक्चरर अदिती अनिल कुशारे मास्टर ऑफ फार्मसी इन क्वालिटी अशुरन्स टेक्निक्स टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सपेरिमेंट्स फ्रॉम फार्मास्युटिक्स टू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सेमी सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म्स इन दॅट द सेमी सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म्स आर मेनली मेन फॉर एक्सटर्नल ॲप्लिकेशन फॉर एन एक्झाम्पल ऑइंटमेंट क्रीम्स जेलीज पेस्ट्स पोल्टिसेस ए टी सी इन दॅट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑइंटमेंट्स सो ऑइंटमेंट्स these are the semi solid preparations meant for external application to the skin or mucous membrane they usually contain a medicament or medicaments dissolved suspended or emulsified in an ointment base ointment bases it is that substance or the part of an ointment which serves as a carrier or vehicle for the medicament while selecting a suitable ointment base the factors such as the action desired nature of the medicament to be incorporated and the stability of ointment are to be considered so we will discuss about the classification of ointment in detail there are total two classes therapeutic properties based on penetration and second class which is based on therapeutic uses so therapeutic properties based on penetration get again get classified into three types that is epidermic ointments endodermic ointments diadermic ointments according to the layer of skin all these three types of ointments are get classified therapeutic uses in that first anti biotic ointments anti fungal ointments anti inflammatory ointments anti pruritic ointments astringent ointments anti eczematous ointments keratolytic ointment counter irritant ointments for dandruff treatments for uh, psoriasis then uh, parasiticide ointments and protectant ointments next we will discuss about the classification of ointment bases there are total four main classes in that oleaginous base oleaginous base then absorption base emulsion base and water soluble base in oleaginous base first type is a petrolatum that is a soft paraffin which is having melting point of 38 degree celsius to 56 degree celsius second one hard part of paraffin and third liquid paraffin absorption bases again get classified into two types that is non emulsified bases and second one water in oil emulsion that is wbio emulsion in which water is the internal phase while oil acts as the external phase in non emulsified bases it is again of the four types that is for an example wool fat wool alcohol hydrous wool fat beeswax then emulsion bases is of two types o by w means oil in water emulsion in which oil acts as a internal phase while water acts as a external phase and second one that is w by o emulsion in which water acts as a internal phase while oil acts as a emul external phase water soluble bases carbovaxes then factors which govern the selection of an ideal base for ointments are there are total two factors that are dermatological factors and pharmaceutical factors in dermatological factor there are again uh, they are of seven types that is absorption and penetration first factor second one that is effect on skin function then miscibility with skin secretions and serum then compatibility with the skin secretions freedom from irritant effect emollient properties ease of application and removal second that is pharmaceutical factor in that it is having the four points that are stability solvent properties emulsifying properties and consistency then preparation of ointment in that there is are four methods that is trituration method fusion method chemical reaction method and fourth one emulsification method let's discuss about the additives used in ointment that are preservatives methyl paraben or propyl paraben humectants that are glycerin propylene glycol or sorbitol antioxidants which are used to prevent the oxidative decomposition chelating agent is used to prevent the catalyzing oxidative de degradation of the trace elements so we know the example of antioxidants that are 
बी एच ए बिटिलेटेड हाइड्रोक्सीनिसोल और बीटिलेटेड हाइड्रोक्सीटोलिन बी एच टी देन इन केस ऑफ चिलेटिंग एजेंट दैट इज द बेस्ट एक्जाम्पल इज इडीटीए मीन्स इथिलीन डायमाइन टेट्रासिटिक एसिड विच इज द बेस्ट एक्जाम्पल ऑफ चिलेटिंग एजेंट दैट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द सिक्वेस्टरिंग एजेंट रिकमेंडेड कंटेनर्स द सेमी सॉलिड प्रिपरेशन आर डिस्पेंसड इन द ग्लास और द प्लास्टिक जार्स हैविंग स्क्रू कैप्स विद द इम्परमिबल लाइनर दे शुड बी स्टोर्ड इन द वेल क्लोज कंटेनर सो एज टू प्रिवेंट द लॉस ऑफ होलाटाइल कंस्टिट्यूएंट्स दे कैन ऑल्सो बी सप्लाइड इन द प्लास्टिक और द मेटालिक कोलैप्सिबल ट्यूब्स देन स्पेशल लेबलिंग इंस्ट्रक्शन इन दैट स्टोर इन अ कूल प्लेस फॉर ऑइंटमेंट कंटेनिंग लो मेल्टिंग पॉइंट इनग्रेडियंट्स एंड सेकेंड वन दैट इज फॉर एक्सटर्नल यूज ओनली इन नेक्स्ट सेशन वी विल सी इन डिटेल अबाउट द एक्सपेरिमेंट Experiment number fifty-six. Title of this experiment is to prepare and submit the zinc oxide ointment BP, that is British Pharmacopoeia, ten gram. Formulation and method of preparation of zinc oxide ointment. Learning objectives are to understand the purpose of preparing ointment with medicament and absorption base, and ability to prepare, label, and submit the ointment correctly. Apparatus required are beaker, measuring cylinder, ointment spatula, then ointment tile. Factor calculated as quantity required upon quantity given is equal to 10 upon 1000. That is equal to 0.01. So we have this is a prescription which is denoted by the symbol Rx. Zinc oxide finely sifted 150 gram and simple ointment 850 gram. So let discuss about the formula table type. That is the category user role of ingredient translation means the name of ingredient. As we have directly quantity given in the metric system, so no imperial. Uh, quantities are not given in the imperial or latin terminology so quantity given in the metric system for preparing 1000 g and quantity taken in metric system to prepare up to 10 g zinc oxide finely sifted used as astringent protective and antiseptic quantity given is 150 g so taken quantity that should be calculated with the help of factor is 1.5 g simple ointment used as ointment base emollient quantity given is 850 g taken quantity should be 8.5 g direction to be used as directed by physician so we have this zinc oxide which is a previously wet and this is a simple ointment this is ointment tile or which is called as ointment slab and this is ointment spatula which is used for the levigation purpose that is mixing of ointment base with the powder so we i am transferring this zinc oxide into this now i am going to add this ointment base that is the simple ointment into it and then i will proceed for next levigation part so again i am going to add this base into it as base should be added slowly because we have to achieve proper mixing of this drug that is zinc oxide with this simple ointment ointment base so this method is known as a levigation in this way we will properly mix it and after proper mixing now i am going to transfer it into the container so now after this proper levigation of this zinc oxide that is drug with this simple ointment now i am going to transfer it into this container and then we will proceed for next leveling part So now we will move towards labeling part. So ointment 10 gram for ABC means name of patient, register number that is XYZ which is number given in the register, dispensed by PQR 